Well, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. It's either morning or afternoon. I know that because most of you are in Arizona uh, and Florida. So that's you're in, I can say good morning and afternoon. And uh, <coughs> this was a, uh, a, a class that was inspired by the fact that I had this model for one day. <laughs> it, sh it showed up in our store uh, uh, Wednesday night. I helped uh, Victor um, unload it, and it was uh, sold on uh, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, and it's being delivered uh, after the show. So <laughs> I figured I better teach a class on it while I have it, right? It's always great to learn when we actually have these models. So I wanted to cater to those uh, those of you who have the EX models, number one. It's the Marquee, Grand Marquee Aria. Uh, and then, of course, the Inspire Rialto because they're laid out very similar. They're obviously smaller sized instruments, but they have a similar setup. <coughs> so I thought that'd be great. And then I've had a few emails I actually ask, you know, I have a Sterling, I have a Liberty, I have a Patriot. You know, those A-Series models, will it, will it work? Most of the time, I can apply most of what I teach. So I'll try to keep that in mind as I'm teaching. If I'm doing something today, I'll make reference to those if I think it's slightly different. If it's something that's the same in the operation, I may not say anything. But it's nonetheless, it's always good to sit on it. And please make note, maybe next week, if not next week, the following week for sure, I'm going to do a class for everybody that has a touchscreen model that's basically if you have an organ that has a touchscreen <coughs> that goes for SU series A series E series EX series EYs or anybody that has a, a model as a touchscreen small I have a class that I want to do that's going to cater to everyone all right so if you see it it'll say uh, special edition uh, product feature class for you know, touchscreen models um, basically that means anyone will learn from that class all right um, we have a lot going on between now and next week so I'm not sure if it's going to be next week or not okay so with that said <coughs> um, I put this email together last night as a last minute notice <laughs> and uh, and because I have the instrument and then I said to myself well gosh now what am I going to teach so I'm going to make it up as I go I actually have a couple of thoughts in my head I'll start off with something what I'm going to do is I'll open up a little song here first just to kind of get warmed up. If you think you have something that you'd like to learn today, if I can get to it, put it in the chat, and I'm going to check it out when I'm done playing the song. All right? I'm going to start off with some basic stuff because there are some people here today that um, have different models. Uh, and also there's some, some of those that have converted over from an A series to an EX series. And there's some differences in some of the ways you can access, you know, things like rhythm styles, what have you. So I'm going to start off basic with something basic, and then we'll go into anything else based on the chat from there, okay? So if you know how to use the chat, just click on the chat thing there and just put in what you think that you can uh, ask. Let me see here. Now there's a question there, how to set up for a song. I'll have to give that some thought. Bill Coleman, how do I set up only have, I, only have Eyes for You? I'll have to play the song and listen to it. But today I'll talk about um, uh, some features. Let me get warmed up with a song. It's Halloween around the corner, so, you know, got to play a Halloween song. Nothing too scary. Um, this one here, my right around this time of the year, uh, my daughter used to play this one amongst many of her fun little Halloween tunes. Uh, and we used to set up every year uh, what we do she when she wanted to go out trick-or-treating um, the rule was she had to hand out candy for at least 30 to 45 minutes first before she could go do it and so we'd set up our radio on a, a little boom box or the you know a Bluetooth speaker and she'd have a hit list of songs and this was one of them you may recognize it's a fun Halloween number here we go one, two, three. <laughs> Fun way to open up the show here.
bad notes in there. I usually use music for that. I'm blaming the fact that I can't put it up here, so I have an excuse. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> that was Witch Doctor, uh, and I've heard it a couple ways. Obviously, the version that I used to hear a lot was the Chipmunks version, <laughs> naturally. Um, anyway, so for those of you who have that, uh, that style, actually the style is called Witch Doctor, uh, and there's a couple ways of finding that. In fact, I'll mention that in a little bit. Um, um, <laughs> Carol, I'm leaving f fingerprints. Let me rub it off. There we go. Um, now that style, by the way, is uh, you could, I, I think last week I did a little show on this and at the last minute, you could actually use that, believe it or not, as a polka style. Did you know that? Yeah, so let me put that back on. Now, before I go further, if you happen to have the Style Witch Doctor, Vintage Setup Zero gives you the, the chipmunk voices. But you have to remember to have the glide switch on to the left the whole time. If you don't, you get normal voices. <laughs> So it's designed so you can put your glide on continuously. Okay, but if you're one of those that might like the sound of the, you know, the songs, music of polkas and things like that, that same style, if you deactivate that, you can turn around and play a lot of polkas with it. use it as a polka as well. Now, let's talk a little bit about rhythm styles here. Um, having questions there. What style did you use for the Halloween song? Also, would I use something else for like Monster Mash? What, what Halloween song are you referring to? And Jeepers, now I got to try playing a polka with Witch Doctor. <laughs> there you go. Um, let's talk a little bit about rhythm styles first. For, for basic for basic users. So A series, SU series, all of the series has, <coughs> if you go back to the Stardust and Royale days, you know, they have about uh, nearly 200 rhythm styles. And that's a lot of rhythm styles. And, and then as the years progress, they keep adding rhythm styles. And they keep putting more rhythm styles and more rhythm styles and more rhythm styles. And when you get up to the aria, I think you get I don't know what the exact number is, but I know it's, I think it's like close to 400. And you may not use all of them, but you'll use a lot of them. The more you have, the more you use. And sometimes people don't realize the, there's more than one way or two ways to find rhythm styles. So let me start with that, and then <coughs> we'll go on to some other fun features here. So first of all, the most obvious way to find a rhythm style is the way everybody does it. You turn on the instrument, you go to the left, you have rhythm buttons over here, and you have, you know, all your blues. Now, th on the E series, they changed the way this panel looked because as they kept adding rhythm styles over the years, what they did is they added styles to what was already there. And what happened was there were styles that might have ended up in a category that some people would say, well, that's not really an appropriate style for that group. Well, it was there because there was no other place to do it. So when the EX series and what have you came out, it was an opportunity for them to relabel some of the, the, the way these are labeled, the style uh, buttons. <coughs> so, you know, instead of a big band, for example, they actually have standards because there's a lot of styles that kind of fall under, under both of that. And it's not always the fast rhythm styles. Um, and instead of soft and easy, they called it smooth. All right. Now, many of you know this, uh, but 
just for the sake of someone that's a little newer at it, when you select a button, all of the buttons on the, on the panel, with the exception of the last one here, gives you two groups of styles, okay? Let me let... So if I touch standards, for example, I get, in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, if I counted right, 12 categories. So it says Frank in the Count, Swing Band, Chicago Swing. Some of those of you are familiar with that. So a lot of the models, <coughs> you got less buttons, but they group them together. And if, obviously, if you go to the next page, there's a whole nother 12 styles. So each one of these has two pages worth. And then when you get into the mix, it's, it's a called mix for a reason because there's, there's not, there's not one genre, for example. It's not just all countries. It's a little bit of mix of mixture of everything. You may have some new Hawaiians. You may have some new countries. You may have some new ballads, et cetera, et cetera. So if I go to mix, there are, uh, on the marquee, you have, let's see here, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Uh, actually, all of the models, Marquis, Grand Marquis, and Ara, you have one, two, three, four pages worth. All right? And they're just that, a mixture of styles. Uh, you know, the Hawaiians are kind of grouped together in here. You have your circle of lions, your smoky strings. And then there's the one that's called more. Now, more is like another mix category, but it's really totally mixed up. So... The best way to explain it is after the Liberty, some of you had a Lowry Patriot and a Liberty. The pages of the Liberty are actually on here. One, two, three. Um, the first three pages are from the Liberty. And then they added a four, five, and six, which are all the new styles that the marquee introduced. So if you ever wonder, if you've had your marquee for a while and you got, what were all the new styles that were brand new on the marquee when I got them? Go to more, and then go to more four, five, and six. <coughs> All right. Um, and so, for example, there's some of these beautiful styles in here. Like, uh, I won't play the song. Again, I need the music. But How Deep, for example, it's a, a classic oh. beat of uh, the Beatles. Don't try this at home. <laughs> I could do this and look at the top there. Here we go. So that's just one of the styles. Now, what's really cool <coughs> is if you go to page 7 and then 8, then those are all of the new ones at the Grand Marquis. So I know some of you have an Aria in the Grand Marquis. Those were all of the new styles came from the, the Grand Marquis. Now, the Aria, for you Aria owners out there, you probably already know this by now. Um, but up here, there's a button that used to be labeled Favorites. They moved the favorites to the screen, and they replaced it with top hits. And then the top hits gives you all of the new styles that were in addition to 
um, that were added above that. And so when you touch favorites here, you still have your favorites. Now, speaking of favorites, for those of you who have it, now favorites was actually introduced on many of the models. Um, Inspire, uh, Rialto, Mar actually all of the models that, I, that are represented in the email. Inspire, Rialto, Marquee, Grand Marquee, and Aria. Um, and so depending on the model, you may have six or eight favorites uh, or ten or I uh, think up to 18 depending on the model you have. And the idea of the favorites is that everybody has a rhythm style that they love to play. Sometimes two. Does anybody have, for those of you who have your video, uh, just put your hand up. H how many favorite styles can you think of uh, right off the top of your head that you use? Let's see. Three, four, can you name four or five of them? Can you, name, can you name ten of them? I bet you if you sat there and you thought about it without looking at the organ, you could probably think of at least two or three instantly, right? Maybe four, maybe five. But it's surprising. Most people don't get past most, don't get past five. If you asked me, <coughs> you have to think about it. Why? Because we use all of the styles when we play, right? But there's always that one style or two or three that we, that's our go-to. So the beauty of having favorites is that you can tell the organ that I want to have, let's see if I can zoom in here. There we go. That's about as close as I can get. Can you see that screen there? Try to zoom my camera in here. It's about as close as I can get. <coughs> I don't know if you can see, can you see the words on that? Anybody? I can't hear you. Okay. So you can kind of see there's there's 10 buttons. I don't know if you can read it, but you can kind of see that there's 10 buttons there. Okay. So right now it says 9 to 5. Could I have this dance or could I have this three-quarter? Johnny Angel, <coughs> Pennsylvania 6, 5,000, Venus, Witch Doctor, Thai Yellow Ribbon, I'm a believer, born free, and then light band. I actually was something there before, and I put light band in there. Um, and coincidentally, because I'm playing on a grand marquee, it obviously is going to default to some of the grand marquee styles program. Now, you can change them anytime you like. So, for example, if um, Tie Yellow Ribbon, that's a great song, or Johnny Angel. But what if I, that's not a style that I'll use a lot? If you want to change it, all you have to do is just change it. And I'll just leave it right there. It says Tito's Big Band. And the way that you change it is either touch it and scroll. Or if you want to reset them back to the settings, you can go to the reset option. And then there's a reset favorites. Okay. And you can confirm it. I'm not going to do that because then it will take away the ones that I like on there. All right. So there's other than that, when you touch it, it'll remain there. So like like big band, for example, is one of the new styles. Just another way to find a rhythm style. Let's hear this one. This is just a classy style. right there on that screen for a moment before I go any further so far is there any questions about anything that I've talked about so far yeah Robert it's Inez huh so it's Inez if you touch and scroll what does it scroll to on here yeah it'll just scroll oh that's a good question it scrolls through the list of every rhythm that the organ has in it Oh, okay. okay. All right. Because mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're saving our favorite rhythm styles. In this case, 10 buttons. 
I have 10 different favorites. <coughs> so when I touch, for example, Born Free, I love that style, I love that song, uh, but I don't play it a lot. I don't, that's not a rhythm that I use a lot. So I would, if I want a rhythm that I want to use a lot, I just touch it and I scroll. And as I'm scrolling through it, it's going through every rhythm style that the organ has alphabetically. So if someone says, well, I like the got swing style, or I like, uh, you know, w whatever, you know, take it easy, or uh, actually I'm on the C's. I might go backwards to the T's. Well, I like that new style called take it easy. So I'm going to go backwards to the B's. Instead of A through Z, I'm going backwards. Now I'm on the numbers. Now I'm on the W's, T's. Whoop, slow down. And so when I get there, take it easy. I just leave it there. And now that style will just remain there until I change it again or reset it. And then if I want to use it, I just touch it. And now you got... That's all, that's all I know without the music. I forgot I didn't have the music with me today. <laughs> but anyway, <coughs> so that's just another way of finding rhythm styles. Okay? Another common way <coughs> that you can do it is a lot of you have that you can search through the rhythms alphabetically. Now, on the A series, there is a button in the middle of the organ that says Style List. And when you touch it, it gives you, again, a list of all the rhythms alphabetically. On the EX series, if you touch a button called Style Suites, you have s categories of styles, in some cases, like genres, or, you know, for example, this has Big Band Era. So if I touch that button there, it's going to give me all the styles that are Big Band related. Uh, kid styles. It's styles that uh, are commonly known, I guess, to be for great for kids. Um, you got some b balloon ride, basic pop, CC rock, a few patriots, bojangles, chicken dancing, chipmunks, like spike. You can see a lot of styles that they think would be kid appropriate, I guess. Uh, sleepy lions. Um, now, let me go back to style suites. <coughs> You got combos, island music, world, novelty. But when you do that first page there, at the very top, there's a button that's called All Styles. And when I touch it, it gives me a, a list of every rhythm this organ has, or whatever organ you have, alphabetically. And it starts with, obviously, the letter A. So it has A, B, C, Piano, A Little Dream, Accordions, A Few Patriots, Ace in the Hole, Acoustic Guitar, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay? Now, if I continue on the Style Suites concept, there's a next page. And this gives me the option of finding rhythm styles by decade. And here's what I mean by that. So it says 20s through 40s. So if I'm playing music and I want it to sound like something that might be the 20s, 30s, or 40s, I would touch that button and it'll give me a list of all the rhythm styles that sound like it came from that era. 50s to 60s, the 70s, 80s, and beyond. Uh, and then it continues on with just pianists and guitar styles, orchestral, and there's a couple others that I'll mention in a minute. So if I touch 20s to 40s, for example, it gives me 2B piano, ballroom Latin, <coughs> uh, candelabra piano, uh, Chicago swing. So a lot of the styles that you would commonly give you that flavor of the 20s, 30s, and 40s, et cetera, et cetera. Now, some of you, again, I mentioned this earlier. By the way, you, you, these lights here, they look like they're flashing. <laughs> they're not blinking. For some reason, the camera, when it shines on these, some of these lights look like they're blinking, but they're not. Um, now, for again, I said this earlier. <coughs> if you got your marquee 
and you had something before that, and you wanted to know what were all the new marquee styles when the marquee was introduced, there's a button here that says marquee. And if you touch it, it just lists all of the rhythms that were new to the marquee when it was introduced. Okay? And then, of course, some of you have the grand marquee. Um, the grand marquee one gives you all of the new ones that were introduced on the grand marquee. So there are multiple ways of finding styles, and there's multiple ways of finding new styles. And, of course, if you have the aria and you want to know what all the new ones are, you just go up to your top hits button, and it makes it easy to find. One last way to find rhythm styles, on depending on the model you have, it's going to be easier than, in, and then, than the others, is the keypad. So someone name a rhythm style that, uh, someone name a rhythm style maybe that you use a lot. Anybody? Anyone whatsoever? Strings 101. Of Strings 101. Okay, Strings 101. So that is a rhythm style that's been on a Lowry for a while. And that's how it's labeled. Now, I have a couple ways I could find that. <coughs> uh, many of the ways that I showed you, or if you do the keypad and you want to do Strings 101, now I know you ARIA owners, you have that uh, QWERTY keypad, so it's a little bit different. You would just type in the letter S. Uh, but on here, I put just alphabet. Most of the models that have the keypad, they group the letters in. So uh, S, T, and U, I would touch S. And then I would tell it, I know some of you are used to doing this finding song setups, but it works the same way in finding a list, a style. So if I touch S for strings 101 and touch style list, it, start, it brings me right to the S's very quickly. That's all. And then I would scroll through the S's, and then I'll find one here called Strings 101. Oh, there's actually two of them. I forgot that there were two, Strings 101 and Strings 101 and 3 quarter. Did you know that? You're going to leave here with a wealth of knowledge here today, folks. Wealth of knowledge. All right. And, of course, for you Grand Marquis owners, there's another N Aria. There's another button that was kind of like a, I want to call it was a, in response to some complainers. <laughs> Nobody complains, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I have to admit, I was one of these complainers. So if you think back, uh, even back in the 80s, believe it or not, if you think back to the 80, late 80s, <coughs> If you were in the if you were in the hobby, then a lot of us uh, in the business were the the rhythm panel that was designed in the 80s on the Lowry organs almost was the same all the way up until the marquee uh, and the E series models. So, in other words, even after that, there was a series called the NT series. There was a Heritage MX2 Citation. They, they had really small buttons, but all of the buttons were labeled Big Band, Swing, Soft and Easy, Broadway. This should sound familiar to some of you. And then when the SU series came out, guess what? They labeled the buttons the same way. Big Band, Foxtrot, Swing, Country, and then Country 2, you know, there's two, um, Waltz, uh, et cetera. And then when the A series came out, the Prestiges, the uh, Sterlings, the Patriots, the Liberties, guess what? The panel was still labeled the same. And as I told you, then eventually they changed this. But here's what happened. When the EX series came out, because they added so many new styles, and they had to put them in different places, like I said earlier, there were people like me that had my handful of styles that I loved to use all the time. During that time, Frank and the Count was like a real popular one that I used. Um, Jumpin' Jazz. Unforgotten. Uh, so there, uh, Razzmatazz. You know, there was like a handful of styles that I used consistently, and they were in different places. So <coughs> you might be using this. If you have it, I would use it. So they have a button here called Classic Styles. And when you touch it, the screen changes, and 
for those of you who may never experience those models, that's what this is. This is the way the panel was over here on those models for 20 years plus. And so Frank in the count was always found under the big band button. When they put it to the big band button, they kept it there forever. Oh, someone is calling me. And it's Joe Fontesha. Joe, I'm in the middle of a class. I'll have to call you back. Zoom class, bye. Let me put my phone in airplane mode so that it doesn't disrupt the camera again. So, because like I said, like I said, once, once they put, get the autofocus going on in here again. Come on. Sorry. Got disrupted here. I'm going to stop the camera. Restart it, folks. Give me just a second. Okay. <coughs> so like I said, once they introduced a style, they didn't want to move it someplace else <coughs> so that you got used to finding it all the time. And so uh, on here, this panel is labeled the exact same way as some of those previous models. So I said Frank in the count was what button? See if you're paying attention to me. Group participation, what button? Big band. Big oh, band. someone said big band. <laughs> so I go to the big band button, and I have all of the big band styles that were labeled on those A-series models. And so Frank in the count is right there. So when I touch it, I will get Frank in the count, but it will also tell me where it's at on the new, st in the new uh, labeling over here. So they just make finding styles as easy as possible. Finding styles is very important. That's what we do. We pick a style and we play songs. <coughs> um, Unforgotten. That's one that I like to because it's not labeled the same anymore. It used to be under the pop button. Let me put pop, but it's not under the pop anymore. Let's see. Unforgotten. It's under the smooth category now. So you can still find styles multiple ways. All right. Now, before I go any further, any questions? Robert? Yes. As a, a note on the ARIA, they also renamed some styles. For instance, Mr. Showman is called Awesome Piano on the ARIA. Yeah, and there's more than that, actually. Yes, That's there is. I don't know many. them offhand. <clears throat> Uh, I'd like to know what all of those are if you ever if you ever have a list of that. Now sometimes yeah, I, I know I know when I hear it, I can tell it is like guitars used to be guitars before. Now it's called something else, guitar and four four, I wanna say. Um, so there's like uh, don't quote me on this, but I wanna say about fifteen percent of the styles like that that they were renamed because they were originally styles that were they were originally styles that were um, uh, a piano based style to begin with, but it was more orchestrated. So then what happened is when they introduced the pianist and guitarist concept, they started on the EX series, they started taking those and then really making them piano style. So awesome piano sounds like uh which one was it mr showman mr showman but if you really listen to mr showman on the original models that piano is the exact same piano arrangement from that style just without all the fluff all of the extra styles let me zoom back out here okay all right any other questions none Robert, where do I go? Uh, would you review how to get to the 20s and 30s screen? The 20s and 30s? Okay. So that is a, uh, a decade or genre. Yeah. And so what I would do is go to my um, Style Suites button. And then on the when I push Style Suites, it's going to give me a list of things on here. 
uh, it says world, island, kids, vocals. And then I go to the next page. It says 20s through 40s. So that would be 20s, 30s, and 40s. And then there's a button that says 50s to 60s, 70s, 80s and beyond. And then the rest of them are uh, genres, you know, like romantic, orchestral, showstoppers. And then there's pianists and guitarists. So if I go into pianists and guitarists, I'm going to find awesome piano probably in there. The shag, which was called, which was a full band style before, but now it's a it's a pianist gu uh, or a guitar style. Um, six eight guitar, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, got it. Thank you very much. Got it. All right. Any other questions? I was going to answer. Look like someone asked that same question before. Yeah. Mike, Would the Mr. Showman style be like a Liberace style? Yes. That Mr. Showman, <coughs> there was Candelabra and there was Mr. Showman. Someone was asking in the chat. Mr. Showman and, and Candelabra were styles that were inspired by Liberace. And I think they turned them both into piano styles. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But let me actually, let me see. Style Suites. Pianist guitarist. Let me see if I could find. Do they have candelabra? Did I pass it? Maybe they call it something else. Uh, go to keypad. Let's see if I see it. So yeah, candelabra piano. So if you listen to candelabra piano, I think it was just called candelabra before. I said, ooh, because I haven't played that style so long. And I never, <laughs> I don't remember hear, uh, playing it like that. But if you heard the original on the organs before, it was had all the orchestra, what have you. All right. <coughs> now, I'll show you a nice little trick here in just a minute. Awesome Piano. Let's see. It's called Awesome Piano. Is that correct? Whoever mentioned that? Yes. Okay. Awesome Piano is... Um, Mr. Showman. So it sounds li like this. Wait. That sounds like the same one that I just used, right? No? Oh. Oh, it is different. Starts off almost the same, doesn't it? So that's Mr. Showman, what it was before. But just as a piano. Now, a nice little trick for you here. All right. So, just a little knowledge for you. <coughs> Extra bonus knowledge, if you will. I had to try it out first to make sure I was going to give you good information. So, I'm going to pick a piano style like you just heard. And I want you to listen to, there's the introduction. We'll just let it play. All right. Now I'm going to put on uh, number one, style setup number one. Number two. Now if you notice, nothing changed. Now these are changing, but the band, the accompaniment is the same. Now let's go to number three. band right okay hold that thought let me go to something else and if it's the way I think it is because this is the way it used to be I'm gonna put on a piano bossa nova here we go just piano right all right then let's go let me push number one now it sounds a little bit different 
But if you notice, it's still just a piano player, right? Let's see what happens number two. Okay. So here's what I want to tell you. When the pianist and guitarist style was introduced, initially on the A series models, and you used a rhythm preset, a normal rhythm preset, when you put on a pianist or guitarist style on, it was predominantly a piano or a guitar sound that you heard. And then when you got into preset one and maybe sometimes two, the accompaniment was still a piano or a guitar player only, even though the sounds changed, okay? Also, number zero and 10 were the same, but one was with the band and one was just a piano guitar player. So if you're using a pianist guitar style, and you're using normal style setup, okay, or if those of you out there, some of you have the A series or the normal rhythm preset, normal style setup zero will always give you just a piano player as the accompaniment. And there's actually a bass in there too, but it's subtle. Because the piano is the main sound in this case. If I go to the next one here, it says heart songs. Listen. So the drummer's not there, just the piano player. Okay, if I go to rock. Memphis piano. Same thing, right? Now let me go to the guitar category here. Let me pick a few. It's guitars and 4 4. Let's see what that sounds like. Just a guitar player. And as you're playing, let's go to number one. Still just a guitar player. Sometimes two will bring in the band, sometimes not. In this case, it didn't. So if you're using the pianist and guitar styles and using normal style setup zero, most of the time one and some most of the time two, what will change is the sounds on the keyboard like you normally do, but the accompaniment will remain as a guitar player only or a piano player only. So again, here's, let me put on, <coughs> let's, let me find something here. Guitar and three quarter. This used to be a full band style in the past. Oops, I have number two on. No drummer. Here, just a guitar player. And I'll have a sound. brings in the band. Nope. Still just a guitar player, but the sound will change. All right. So did you catch that? So now, if you're using those styles and you want the band, I'm I'm a 99.72% sure on this. It's almost close to 100. If you have style setup on, 3 to 10 is going to have the full band in going on at all times. The sounds will change. So if I go to let's here's a here's one that you've heard many times. Let's here's the uh, the Latin guitar. and see what happens. So the band, the, the accompaniment is still guitar, but my melody sounds change. Let's see 
what number two does. Now in this case, it brought in a drummer. The sounds change again. And three on is definitely gonna have it. So, any questions about any of that so far? Hopefully you're learning something. Did you learn, at least learn one thing today? Okay, looks like a lot of Ned's hot, uh, heads nodding. Uh, some of you don't have your video screen, so I'm just gonna assume you're all nodding your head. <laughs> so, now one other little theory I have here, but let me just make sure before I do it. Because I don't like to give bad information. Okay, let's do that, that, and that, that, and that. Yes, so most of them do that. Okay, now, if you use vintage zero on the pianist and guitarist and 10, and I kind of said this earlier, but most of the styles, zero and 10 is the same setup. All right. So, for example, I have jazz guitar rhythm style on, and vintage zero should start with just a guitar player. Okay, so, so far I'm right. That's good. And I've got a saxophone and guitar here. Did you hear the accompaniment? I think Lowry did this, Bill Curry did this intentionally, because a lot of times that initial setting is really nice. But maybe you want it to start off like that, but you want to continue using that same setup, and you want the full band in. If you keep it on there and you go to number 10, you'll get the exact same setup, only you'll get more of the full band. Let me finish that off. <laughs> test that theory out again let me pick another style here let's maybe do a gospel uh, let's see here this guitars okay let's see I'm in a mood for what am I in a mood for how about six eight guitar okay six eight guitar is fine so six eight guitar by the way <coughs> this style is great because if you want to play um, and I featured a little bit of this the other day in, a, in the Zoom concert. If you do a C chord, it's great for songs like Sleepwalking. And it's a 6-8, so you can play a lot of traditional triplet styles. But if you do the minor chord, 
Now the setup that I'm getting is a guitar and an organ, like a Hammond sounding organ. If I put 10 on the band, same setup just with the band. And then I'm playing there, I'm going, oh, and I can teach him this and I can teach him that. I'm going to have to save it all. If I teach it all now, then I won't have a reason to have you come back again in a week or two, right? So any other questions before I move on? Robert, I have a question. Yes. So when you get, in order to play on the, um, when you picked up the, the, or the guitar or the piano, you went under, under style suite on a marquee? That's one way. Remember, okay. there's multiple ways of finding styles. Yeah. So if you go to Style Suites and you go to the next page, there's a button called Pianists and Guitars, and it'll give you okay. all, a lot of the pianists and guitars. But there's okay. another way to find pianists and guitar styles. Okay. Okay. On, when the pianists and guitar styles were introduced originally, some of you had the Liberty, Patriot, Sterling, Symphony, you know, those models. There was an actual button just called pianist and guitarist, and they gave you 10 of each. And what Lowry did, what I thought was very clever, on the EX series, let me zoom in again, and let's see if we can get that screen as the best I can. Maybe I can move my card in just a little bit here. Okay. So style suites, there's pianists and guitars. But th they had another clever way, and I know some of you probably know this, but any category that you press here has all of the full bands, but what they did is styles that should have been pianists and guitars, like we established earlier, like Mr. Showman and Candelabra, those styles, they were really pianist styles in nature. But back then, I don't know if they knew it or not, uh, there were guitar styles, and then there was new ones. What they did is, under every category, when I touch standards, this is Franken account, Chicago Swing, Swing Train, Jump It. Think about those styles. There's a lot of musicians playing in that band, right? And then there's two variations. One has a blue background and a brown background. The blue background, it looks black, but it's actually blue, a dark blue, is a piano style. The brown background, kind of a wood grain, is a guitar style. So on this standards page one, two beat piano and guitar swing. Now if I go to the next page, it has smooth foxtrot, champagne, Charleston, Dixieland, razzmatazz. You, know, you guys are familiar. With that. Jazz club is now a piano style. Jazz Club originally was not a piano style, but if you listen to it, the piano was, if you heard the original version of it, the piano was very kind of the dominant sound that was featured in that. Uh, so now it sounds like this. Okay. Very piano based. <coughs> Gypsy Rag was actually a style that was there before and what's cool about the gypsy rag and the jazz piano is they were already pianists and guitar styles but they kept it in its original format just wasn't as busy with the mu other musicians but you hear the guitar player you hear the guitar all right <clears throat> if you go to country it says on the trail and floyd piano well, on the trail is into the guitarist category. Floyd Piano, well, naturally is a pianist, et cetera, et cetera. So you have multiple ways of finding pianists and guitar styles. Style suites, 
go to the pianist and guitarist and it'll list all of those okay or if you're pushing the buttons over here like you normally would everything that's under that blue and the brown those represent styles that are really mainly a piano background it doesn't mean that they're all going to have just piano but a lot of them will uh, and then the same thing with trios romanticos my guess is without even looking it's going to have some of the background but it's predominantly guitar player let's see now there's two ways they do it so the vintage does it like this and that's the original format you hear the drummer in there and so forth Alright, now if I do it on the normal style setup, let's see what happens. It's very similar, but the drummer's not in there. But it's still predominantly a guitar or something. Okay? That was a long answer to the question, but I hope that answered your question. <laughs> it did, thank you. <laughs> I'm I'm told that Robert can't just answer a question by a in, in 10 seconds. <laughs> I have to give a whole story. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? I'll try to answer it in less than 15 seconds. Any other questions? All right. I think I'll close off a little song today. Is that okay? Since I'm talking about pianists and guitars, <clears throat> let's see what we got here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, so, well, fingers crossed. I'll use a piano style or guitars. Let me just see. Let's see. Ah, this 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 style's technically been around since the SU days, maybe even before that, which was back in the early two thousands. Even on the uh, LX models that came out in the late 90s, it had this style. They just got better with it over time. And when you listen to it, here's one way. Sound familiar? All right. Now I'm going to put on the vintage, and you'll see it comes up with the band. All right. But what I'm going to do is have some fun with this because... I'll do a classic 50s rock and roll tune, but I want to use the fake it at some point. But because I have the Grand Marquis, <laughs> while I can, I'm going to, you know, for those of you Grand Marquis and Ari owners, you know this, you can assign the fake it to the top or the bottom so you can continue playing the melody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the feature, the fake it feature. Let me see what, uh, I will keep it like this. That, here's the guitar down here. So I'll play a little bit, and then at some point, I'll activate the fake it just on the bottom keyboard, and then I'll keep playing on the top. All right? And we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, one other little thing. When you're listening to this, speed it up a little bit. Now you hear that? You hear the bass? Very subtle, right? You may hear this come in at some point. You hear that bumble, what do they call that? That, uh, that boogie woogie piano come in? Here's without it. Did you hear that? Okay. Robert, what style are you using with the boogie the, uh, the boogie which is it that's boogie just, That's fifties guitar rock. Okay, thank you, sir. Who just asked that question, by the way? That was John from Hazelton. John, uh, what organ do you have? I have a marquee. Okay, so it's called uh fifties guitar rock. Because it might be thank called you. slightly different in the A series. They might have worded it a little bit different. I just want to make sure. But <clears throat> what I did, I just want to make sure first of all you heard it. Some of you said, yeah. Here's what I did. When you put on that rhythm style in the full band format, if you just switch from auto bass one and touch auto bass two, it'll, it'll turn that bass, that upright bass player. Let me turn off the band so you could hear it. 
Orchestra plus off and bass, basic off. You hear? Now when I put on auto bass too, So at some point, while I'm playing, I might reach over and do that. But when I use the fake it down here, I'm gonna continue playing, let it do its fake it. So here we go. Let's do an intro, let's do the whole thing. tell you um, <laughs> pause that for a minute there and then I'll come back thank you very much to coming in to on such a short notice I uh, uh, it's in less than 12 hours and I had close to 50 people on today so hopefully it was worth the short notice and you learned something y'all learned something at least one thing I bombarded you okay this yes. is being recorded they won't record your thumbs up, but for those who are watching this, yes, I have a bunch of people going like this. So that's always a good thing. So as always, stay safe, keep playing music, and I have to go now because the delivery man is here for your organ, Carol. Coming to pick it up. He's waiting for me. He's going to be leaving, and we'll see you real soon. Mwah. Oh, good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very informative. Thank you. See you next week. You got it.